Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on pelvic inflammatory disease. Infection of the fallopian tubes usually involves the ovaries and peritoneum, and the combined infection is called pelvic inflammatory disease. It results from ascending infection of organisms from vagina or cervix. Most episodes are associated with traditional sexually transmitted disease pathogens, such as chlamydia and gonorrhea. It is predominantly a disease of young, sexually active women. Secondary invasion with anaerobes is common, so that a combination of antibiotics is required to cover the spectrum of likely pathogens. It is associated with tubule damage, leading to ectopic pregnancy or infertility. Partner notification is important in management. First we look at acute PID. The causes can be divided into primary and secondary. Primary causes are sexually transmitted diseases. Escherichia coli, bacteroides, or other gut organisms. Iatrogenic, following dilatation and curatage, termination of pregnancy, insertion of an intrauterine contraceptive device, or after delivery or miscarriage. Secondary causes can be due to direct spread from nearby pelvic organs, such as in appendicitis or schistosomiasis. Pathological consequences of acute pelvic inflammatory disease include salpingitis, pyosalpinks, hydrosalpinks, acute pelvic peritonitis, salpingoophoritis, tubo-ovarian abscess, and adhesions. For its sequelae, it include chronic pelvic pain, subfertility, ectopic pregnancy, and recurrent PID. With heavy periods, dysmenorrhea, dyspareunia, chronic pelvic pain due to adhesions, and infertility. Whereas for chronic PID, this may be due to inadequately treated, recurrent, or acute pelvic inflammatory disease. Or can be due to tuberculosis, although it is rare. That's all for this video. Thank you.